my name is Terry Anderson. I'm a National Park Ranger at the Anchorage, Alaska Public Lands Information Center, and I help people trip plan for their Alaskan adventures. It would take two lifetimes to see Alaska, but if all you have is a few weeks, here are three tips to use your time most effectively. Number one, do your research on the sites you want to see before you arrive in the state. If in your week-long trip to Alaska, you want to see Northern Lights, the Alaska Railroad, Glaciers Moose, Gold Canyon, Mount McKinley, Dog Sleds, Native Alaskan Dance, Polar Bears, Earthquakes, Totem Poles, Caribou, Volcanoes, Salmon, and Inupiat Whale Hunt, Walrus, or Rhinoceros Auklet, you're going to have to plan your time well. First, find the locations of those sites on a good map. Then, plan your journey so you won't have to drive back and forth across the state. Also, keep in mind that some sites you can only see during specific seasons. Number two, transportation. Alaska is big. Always allow extra time for travel because it will nearly always take longer than expected. Public transportation is limited. The Alaska Railroad is a slow, scenic train. There are many small bus companies that run in between cities. Anchorage and Fairbanks have city buses. Many people choose to rent a car for optimal freedom of travel, but most rental cars are not allowed on dirt roads. Most of Alaska is off the grid, so you need to fly. Most villages are off the grid and don't have hotels because they have so few visitors. Number three. Finally, prepare yourself with the right tools for the trip. You won't be able to enjoy anything if you're physically uncomfortable or ill-prepared. Clothing comes first. Use the layering system and dress warmer than expected. Alaska weather is unpredictable, so be prepared for all seasons in a single day. If you view wildlife, it will most likely be from a great distance, so a pair of binoculars is key. The last tool is the camera. Photography in Alaska can be easy. The scenery is so beautiful, it makes you automatically look like a pro. But it has its challenges, too. For animal photography, get the biggest zoom possible. For cold weather photography, one trick is to take the batteries out of your camera and store them in the inside pocket of your jacket to keep them warm. Finally, there's Northern Lights Photography, the biggest challenge. To photograph the aurora, first you need a tripod to keep your hand steady. Then you need a shutter speed of 15 seconds or more to let in enough light. If you try to photograph the aurora with a normal camera, even if the aurora is bright, your photo will come out black. For sightseeing in Alaska, research well. Alaska is big and variable, so plan for long distances, rough conditions, and spectacular sights. For more information on sightseeing in Alaska, visit our website at alaskacenters.gov. Thanks for watching.